Alright guys, it is 2 o'clock. I'm headed down to some public land about an hour from my house. Uh, me and Matthew hunt back in there quite a bit last year and seen a lot of good deer. Got a couple cameras I want to go check. Uh, I know last year after season was over I checked some cameras and had some really good deer still alive. So if they made it through the, seat, the year, they will be absolute giants this year. So, going down there to check some cameras and hunt this evening, maybe in the morning, and see if I can't maybe get eyes on one of these season, early season bucks, or get some intel on if they're even in there on my cameras and stuff. There's three cameras I need to check, and they're about a mile and a half apart from each other all different directions which one of them i can pick it up and then swing around and pick the other one up kind of in the one big swoop but uh the other one it's it's a mile one way so it's two miles in there and one of them so a mile there a mile back so i'm heading down there right now two o'clock should be there by three o'clock uh i might get dressed real quick and hustle up in there grab the card out of the one camera and then hustle back and then load up my hunting gear and head back to the back where we're gonna hunt at. It's about, I mean, it's a mile back there where I'm hunting at. So, uh, I mean, you're looking at 30 minute, probably a 20, 30 minute walk. Pretty good walk. Up and down hills, it's hot. It's like 89 degrees. So, anyway, I brought a tent and some snacks and stuff. I'm probably gonna stay the night tonight. I worked all day, or all night, so I'm gonna be tired. I don't really wanna drive back after walking out of there, and I've been way wore out. I don't wanna fall asleep driving. So I'm just gonna stay there tonight, I think, and then get up in the morning and probably hunt a little bit. And if I don't get all the cards pulled, I'll get them then, and then head home, and wait for next week. Next week's supposed to be some cool temperatures coming in. Uh, it's been in the 80s and 90s this week. Next week, the highs are in the 70s. We've got a couple of nights low 50s. So next week should be really good evenings. Maybe mornings, but I have to work. I can't have the morning, just evenings. So stay tuned, and I will see you guys on the road when we get there. All right, guys, it's 4.30. I made it back. I went and got the one card. Uh, I made it back to the other parking lot where I'm going to go hunt at. It's about a 30, 40 minute walk. So hopefully I'll be back there by 5. So I can get set up. And hopefully see some deer movement. Whew. Got a lot of hills and I'm packing a lot of weight. So this is not exciting. But anyway, we'll catch you when we get there.
maybe I got pictures of him. We'll see what he's got. Well, it's getting close to 7 o'clock. I haven't seen anything. Just a couple of squirrels. I thought for sure I'd see something. But maybe they just ain't coming through here very often. My trail camera shows them coming through every now and then. I mean, they're not every day. But we all see here till dark. I get down. I'm thinking I don't know if I'm going to pull everything down and hunt somewhere else in the morning or come back and hunt the same spot again. Alright guys, it's about 5.45, I'm headed back in, just got up, slept in a tent last night, right here at the camp, or right here at the woods, that way I didn't have to drive all the way back, but uh, slept pretty good, actually I went to sleep at 9 o'clock and slept like a rock, but anyway, about 5.45, I'm headed back in, I'll see if find my spot I'm wanting to hunt at. This morning I might even shoot a doe because I'm not hunting that far from the truck. But yesterday, I mean, I was way back in the back. There's no way I was going to drag a doe out of there. So, anyway, I'm headed in. I'll see you guys when I get to the tree.
seen some action. I had that nine pointer come in, he wasn't real big. But he was 25, 30 yards from me. I could have killed him if I wanted, but first week in the season, I don't want to feel my tag on something like that. I mean, he's a good deer, don't get me wrong. But I've still got pictures way bigger in here. And then while I was watching him, he eased up the hill a little ways. And uh, my alarm, I forgot to take off on Sunday mornings. It goes off at 9 o'clock every day. It beeped. What it did, I heard some turkeys start butting behind me. And there was a couple turkeys back there. I barely got one on video. They were 35, 40 yards from me. They're slowly working their way off too now. So, I think deer and turkey today, so not a bad day. Well, at least I broke the curse of not seeing anything, so... I'm probably going to sit here another 20, 30 minutes and then get down. i got to head back home. So, if anything else happens, we'll see. Hi right, guys, it is September 21st. Uh, yesterday was in the 90s. The day before that was in the 90s. It's been really hot. Today we had, or last night it rained pretty good. And today it dropped down into the, I think it's the upper 70s. Supposed to get down to 40s tonight. So, I mean, it's a good cold temperature front. Tonight, tomorrow, is supposed to be pretty good temperature wise. And then it's supposed to start warming back up at the end of the week. So. Hopefully tonight we can get in here and get us a doe. Whole slick head. Uh, Gumming in on some private land. Uh, I've been able to hunt for the last couple years. Well, probably longer than a couple years. A long time. And uh, we don't see a whole lot of deer here. But we're going to go in here and see if we can't shoot us a doe. I mean, I've had pictures of some good bucks. But probably not going to see one of them. We're just going to go and try to kill a doe. So, anyway. Uh... It's about four, a little after four o'clock. I'm gonna run over and check, it, pull a card on one camera and then head to the hunting spot. There's a card over there. I'll pull it too and check those while I'm sitting in the stand. All right, guys, I made it to the property. I checked my other card. So now I'm headed into the woods. So hopefully we can sneak in here, get a crack at something that's been. Oh, I got a northwest wind today, which you don't normally get this time of year, but. I'm going to take advantage of it and see what happens. Alright guys, I made to the stand. It's 5, about 5 o'clock. I've got a northwest wind. Like I said earlier, it's pulling back behind me. I'm expecting the deer movement to come along this ridge. It drops off to a big old bottom field. Pretty big bluff. And this way, I mean, it's just thick and nasty. It's been logged before. It's gross. So, what I got going on here is a couple of years ago, right on the edge of this ridge, I uh, came in with a chainsaw and I made a path probably 150 yards down through there. And that way the deer could use it better. Because, I mean, it's so thick over here. Much they do use it, but they still come through the thick stuff like it doesn't even bother them. But anyway, so I've got a bunch of thick stuff over here to my west or my south southeast over that direction and then the north I've got on my wind point and so the ridge is going this way so I'm hoping that deer will come up the ridge or down the ridge or maybe on this thick stuff I don't I've seen on here over I mean what few years I've hunted here I've seen uh, one or two deer come from that way they usually always come from that way that way or that way so the northwest wind is perfect for this spot alright guys it's about 6.30 it's still blowing about 10 miles an hour or so. You can feel the temperature's dropping. It's cooling down. I mean, I'm just in a t-shirt, but I'm starting to get a little chilly. It's supposed to get down to 40. I think it's at 47 tonight. That's the coolest it's been yet this year. So, gonna cool down and maybe the beer will get to move before, before it gets dark. Check my trail camera. Uh, it's been up for about two, I think two, two and a half weeks. It had, uh, I think, 1,200 pictures on it. And it's got a, uh, a nice 11 point, a nice 9 point. And then it's got a uh, little, I think, 7 point, and then a bunch of does. And I had a picture of a black bear. But the, uh, the 11 point showed up in the daylight in the morning. 
sometimes all the nighttime pictures. And then the does. A lot of them are coming through in the morning, but I did have some in the evening time. Here and there, sporadically, so. Hopefully with this cool wind, or this cool temperatures, they might get up early and move, and I might get some on. Get them in the daylight, in the range. I mean, where I'm hunting at, it's really thick. So, I mean, they've got to be 45 yards before I can even see them. So, I might not get a lot of footage of them. I might just be camera on deer. Pop. We'll see.
I brought in. That's what you want to say. Guys, here she is. Oh, slick kid. Probably a year and a half old to her old. She's not a monster. Maybe 110 pounds, 120. Uh, hit her a little high, but she ran. She probably ran 80 yards or so. I was using that Muzzy G5 Montec. It did the did the number, but uh. Sorry about the footage, it wasn't the greatest footage at all. But uh, it's kind of hard to self film. Anybody who's ever self filmed knows how hard it is. But uh, I'm glad I got her. It's the first deer of the year of 2021. Uh, hopefully, it won't be the last. I'll probably shoot a couple more does if I can. I know my mom and dad, my sisters, a bunch of people's wanting some deer meat, so we got plenty of people to give deer to. But uh, just happy to get one down. It's going to be hopefully a good season. I'm trying to kill a good buck this year last year my wife and daughter did really good and i didn't do so hot on the buck part but this year i'm gonna try to hunt really hard and try to kill a really good buck if i can i don't want to shoot no average buck i want to shoot one that i'll be proud of so uh anyway thanks for watching i uh, appreciate it uh subscribe hutton outdoors and uh hopefully we'll bring you guys some good content this year i know matthew and jonathan and them's got a lot of stuff planned so hopefully they'll Put some big deer on the ground.